Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. The theme of tonight's final point is the horrible hypocrisy of the left. Picture like a stinking compost pile behind the shed in the backyard. The utter decomposition and smelly decay. That is the moral standard of the Democratic Party. This is the new Democratic Party. They hate the flag. They kneel for the anthem. They scowl for the American motto, in God we trust. They refuse to clap for low black unemployment rates. They berate the Constitution. They ban prayer from schools. They remove nativity scenes from the lawn of City Hall. They condemn tax cuts. They demonize the wealthy and success. They demonize police officers, our brave men and women in blue. They exploit minorities, black Americans, Hispanics, the gay community, and women. They praise the killing of unborn babies and pretend that's women's empowerment while they pocket the blood money to fund their campaigns. They castigate the character of strong women whom they disagree with, like Nikki Haley, falsely accusing her of sleeping her way to the top just because they hate her. They funnel money to our enemies who actually use our money to kill us, like the Iranians and the Palestinian Authority terrorists. They elevate the sister of a dictator, Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong, in an effort to insult Vice President Pence, while Kim and his sister kill millions of their own people. They praise socialism. They insult free markets and liberty. They disdain churches and religion and morality and family. They dine with racists like radical hate preacher Louis Farrakhan. They silence conservatives on college campuses. They label anybody who votes Republican a Nazi. They call conservatives a basket of deplorables. They destroy property, burn businesses, punch people, pepper spray eight-year-olds, hurl rocks at police horses, stalk students, and riot to stifle free speech. They berate women who choose to bear arms or keep the baby. They preach tolerance, but then force Christians to bake gay wedding cakes. They justify and condone violence against Republicans. They betray dreamers whom they promise to protect. They try to take our guns. They give our money to people who didn't earn it. They tell white people they're racist because their skin is white. They claim to champion the poor and working man while Democrats in Congress pocket hundreds of millions of dollars on the side. And they pledge to fundamentally change the United States, destroying the greatest, freest, safest, most prosperous nation on earth and turning it into a gigantic safe space filled with emotional support ponies and a domineering nanny state government that keeps the citizenry compliant by dribbling entitlements into the outstretched hands of the masses, while those who choose to be self-sufficient and free are shamed for implicit racism and selfishness. That is the new Democratic Party. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.